I'm Shuki, I'm a transgender activist. I live in uh, Givatayim, which is outside Tel Aviv, in Israel. Um, what I do? I'm part of a group of uh, activists that uh, we've been doing various um, 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 activities to promote transgender visibility, empowerment, uh, networking, uh, and building a community. Okay, we have a number of, uh, a lot of groups, support groups, social groups for different groups within the transgender community. Um, we have what's called the Green Block that we march uh, within the transgender pride in order to promote transgender visibility. We've had a campaign against transphobia in the media. We have an economical empowerment project um, that already almost a year. Um, we have various um, discussions and um, social um, activities like going to the beach together, uh, making sushi at the Trans Sushi, and um, seeing movies about uh, transgender issues. Uh, we don't have transgender pride. This is why we actually um, celebrated the Trans Sushi. It's during the transgender day of Japan, because mm -hmm. Japan is the only country that has a transgender day, it yeah. seems, that, that I know of. Um, but we do commemorate Transgender Day of Remembrance each 20th of uh, November. Um, so we have a ceremony and a vigil of um, actually a march with, um, with uh, candles. Mm -hmm. Many transgender people have uh, trouble going to the beach um, because it's a very gendered uh, space where people are many times harassed for looking, di for looking different, for having a body that doesn't conform to gender norms. Um, personally, I haven't been to the beach for many years. And uh, the idea was to go to the beach as a group of transgender people. So instead of having the entire beach laugh at you as a single individual and feel very uh, isolated, uh, the entire beach laughs at a group. And the group is able to empower uh, the, its individuals and um, also kind of laugh at all the the people around, so it's it's much more powerful and it's, and it's fun to mm -hmm. go to the beach together. Um, as there are certain things that may be covered, um, discrimination at the workplace um, and various other discriminations, um, it's possible that um, a judge will say that discrimination based on gender includes also transgender people, but it's not obvious. So it may, may be necessary to add gender identity, which does not exist at the moment in, uh, in, um, in the law. Um, as far as um, legal uh, status, it's possible to change um, the name with no problem in documents, but it's not uh, very easy to change um, the gender, because you have to have some kind of surgery in order to change it and not all transgender people can afford or not all transgender people want to have surgery. Um, this is very problematic and is uh, against our basic human rights. Uh, hopefully this will change someday. Um, about he health care, there are certain, um, there's a sex change committee that uh, if people wish to do a uh, um, physical process, they can go through this committee, but it's very bureaucratic and there are very few transgender people that do it. Um, surgeries are funded in this committee, um, but the surgeries are not, uh, are not good, and the uh, care is not, uh, is not respectful. Uh, the committee is racist and sexist and transphobic, and um, many transgenders prefer to do physical changes through private uh, means. If you want to do the bottom surgery, you have to go abroad because it's not allowed to do surgery bottom surgery that's private um, in Israel. Mm -hmm. I don't know any, maybe I don't know enough transgender people, but I don't know any transgender people that consider themselves as a mental illness. Some people view it as a physical disability, which is very different. Mm -hmm. The um, struggle in order to take transgender out of uh, the DSM is, is problematic. On one hand, some of the funding and um, of surgeries is based on this category and the people that need funding are usually people that, uh, that have no money and they're disempowered. And 
as opposed to people that do have money and, and would not care if this is taken out of the ESM or not taken out of the ESM. Uh, another problem with this struggle is saying that uh, people that have mental disability do not have, uh, should not have rights. Uh, slogans like, mm -hmm. I'm transgender, I'm not ill, are not good slogans because first of all, there are part of the uh, transgender community that do have mental illness um, and um, it doesn't mean they should dis be discriminated upon. Um, so I, I would prefer that there was no DSM in the first place. Um, I don't think that the autonomy, the bodily autom autonomy should be taken away not from people that have mental disabilities and not from transgender people and not from anyone. Um, I also think it's it's a struggle that can only be done after a community is much more strongly built. I think there's more important things. Uh, obviously, if if this um, having transgender in the DSM means that transgender people get locked away, this should be quickly changed because this is very very important. But other than that, I don't think it's it's not the issue that we should be dealing with now. Mm -hmm. The transgender community is, uh, is very diverse. Um, there are transgender people that define themselves as men and women and don't even like to define themselves as transgender or transsexual or anything. They just define themselves as men and or women. There are transgender people that don't like to define themselves as men and women. They're, it's, it's, very, it's very, very diverse. Um, there are transgender people that are queer. There are transgender people that are very heteronormative. Um, I think it's... It makes things interesting. Gays and lesbians as well. There are transgender yeah. people that are gay and transgender mm -hmm. women that are lesbians and bisexuals and pansexuals and asexuals and uh, gender and, uh, and sexual orientation are not necessarily connected. Now, I think uh, the, the struggle is obviously um, a common struggle, just like I think also transgender issues have to do with uh, feminist issues. Um, however, I personally think that the past few years uh, were good for us where we tried to do our own activities not together with uh, LGBT organizations or gays and lesbians. There have been uh, gays, lesbians, bisexuals and straight people that have come to um, be part of trans activism as allies but um, we've been less organizing within LGBT organizations because sometimes it's been kind of hard because many times we're excluded, so we prefer to do our own thing. Uh, sometimes it's easier. Thank you.